we have been following this story closely inmate deaths at the Harris County Jail. As we told you here at six last night, a former Harris County jailer is facing charges following this inmate's death. 23 year old Jakari Simmons. He was found dead in his jail cell during the winter storm in 2021. 28 year old Eric Morales is charged with manslaughter. Our coverage continued today with this call for change. Community activists and families of inmates who have died saying they want accountability and some oversight. These inmates are not animals. I got an inside call from social media stating that my son passed away. They seen him laying in the bunk. Well, there have been four deaths in the jail in the last few months. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota continues our coverage tonight, and he's live in the newsroom with a deeper look, Andy. Daniela, an attorney for the Harris County Deputies Organization who's familiar with Eric Morales' case, says in custody jail deaths have nothing to do with the detention officer's training. Instead, she says they're the result of a systemic problem that cuts much deeper. Detention officers hired by Harris County to work in the jail undergo five weeks of extensive training regulated by the state with their first week focusing on de-escalation tactics. It all starts with being understaffed and underfunded. An attorney with the Harris County Deputies Organization, Robin Foster, says the county has failed to invest in the resources that are so desperately needed to make conditions at the Harris County Jail better for the employees and the inmates. Whenever we see something like the deaths in the jail skyrocketing, the ones that are going to be punished with for it are the ones that have the least to do with it, which are the detention officers. Foster says the jail's population is the highest it's been in a decade. And even though inmates are being sent to other facilities in West Texas and Louisiana, the county jail is still at capacity. We can't keep skimping on it because it's an essential function. According to the Texas Justice Initiative, at 23, Harris County had more in-custody jail deaths last year compared to counties like Dallas, Tarrant, Bear, and Travis. The majority of the inmates who died, 48%, were black. As for the manner of death, the highest, 43%, was categorized as other, followed by natural causes, illness. 4% of the deaths were homicides. What can we do to make the conditions in the jail better so we these, these deaths that could be prevented are prevented? Foster says Simmons' death occurred during the 2021 winter freeze at a time when detention officers were forced to endure extraordinarily unbearable conditions working 24-7 for several days in the jail. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.